China's new Type 076 Sichuan is making headlines. It may be the world's first drone carrier testing magnetic catapults to launch aircraft. Satellite images show the ship in Shanghai lined up for electromagnetic trials, a technology that was once exclusive to supercarriers. This breakthrough could honestly revolutionize drone flight at sea and really redefine the future of naval innovation. At the Hudong Zhonghua shipyard in Shanghai, one of China's most advanced vessels is now the focus of intense global attention. The Type 076 Sichuan, launched in late 2023, has been spotted preparing for what appear to be electromagnetic aircraft launch system. And now Sir Brau Urjiao's Umanstir, Udanse Daigur stay for Ken, and now's Naj Turao. A remarkable step for a ship described as the world's first drone carrier. Satellite imagery and social media photos published by sources such as Interesting Engineering and the South China Morning Post show the vessel positioned with its catapult rail aimed toward the open waters of the Yangtze River, not toward the dock. This orientation suggests that the ship is getting ready to perform sled tests, which is a common pre-launch procedure for electromagnetic catapult systems. Supporting this theory, the Shanghai Maritime Safety Administration recently issued an official no-entry notice for the area near the shipyard, in effect from October 20th to October 29th, specifying underwater operations between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. daily. These times coincide with likely test schedules for emails. Engineers use a weighted metal carriage or sled, which is magnetically accelerated along the launch rail to mimic the takeoff of an aircraft. After each test, the sled is retrieved from the water to analyze data on acceleration, stress, and power delivery. Earlier images of the Sichuan, revealed that the catapult covers had been removed, and a new radar array had been installed, indicating that the ship was transitioning from outfitting to testing. With an estimated displacement exceeding 40,000 tons and a full-length flight deck, the vessel combines amphibious and aviation capabilities in one design. If current tests prove successful, the Sichuan will officially be recognized as the first amphibious ship in history equipped with an operational electromagnetic launch system, signaling the arrival of a new generation of sea-based drone and aircraft platforms. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMALS, represents one of the most advanced technologies ever installed on a naval vessel. Instead of relying on traditional steam pressure, EMALS uses powerful magnetic fields to accelerate aircraft down the launch track. This provides smoother acceleration, minimizes structural stress, and allows for precise control of launch speed, making it ideal for both lightweight drones and heavy aircraft. Unlike the older steam catapults found on past generation carriers, EMALS is far more energy efficient and actually requires less maintenance. The system draws power from the ship's main generators and stores it in rotating flywheels, which then release bursts of energy in timed pulses. This enables the launch of aircraft in quicker succession while consuming less fuel and producing no steam waste. According to reports, the Type 076 Sichuan shares several similarities with China's larger Type 003 Fujian carrier, which also uses emails. However, the Sichuan is the first amphibious assault ship to integrate the technology, a much smaller platform achieving comparable capability. This adaptation shows that emails is becoming scalable and can be applied to a wide range of vessels, not just supercarriers. The benefits extend beyond efficiency. EMALS offers a far greater range of launch weight control, allowing operators to safely launch small drones such as the GJ-11 Sharpsword and heavier aircraft without hardware adjustments. The magnetic rail can be calibrated electronically for each launch, saving time and reducing mechanical strain. From an operational perspective, this innovation gives the Sichuan an entirely new role. It is no longer just an amphibious assault ship, it's a hybrid platform that can deploy fixed-wing aircraft, unmanned drones and helicopters depending on mission needs. This combination of flexibility, precision and energy optimization is what makes the Sichuan's EMALS trials such a significant step forward in naval engineering. If the EMALS testing aboard the Sichuan continues successfully, it could, you know, really redefine how future drone operations are conducted at sea. The ship is already described in official sources as a drone carrier, purpose-built to launch and recover advanced uncrewed aircraft such as the GJ-11 Sharpsword, 
a stealthy, flying-wing drone that's known for its high endurance and low radar visibility. The inclusion of an electromagnetic launch rail makes this ship uniquely suited to deploying such systems, providing smooth acceleration and minimizing mechanical shock during takeoff. The Sichuan's full-length flight deck, Twin Island superstructure and internal hangars allow it to accommodate a mixed fleet of drones, helicopters, and potentially crewed aircraft. This gives the vessel an extraordinary level of versatility, capable of performing tasks such as aerial surveillance, data relay, mapping, and long-range monitoring without needing traditional runways. With an estimated displacement of over 40,000 tons, the ship combines the logistical strengths of an amphibious platform with the technological sophistication of an aircraft carrier. Strategically, this move represents a shift toward multi-role energy-efficient naval platforms. Instead of relying solely on large carriers for fixed-wing operations, this concept introduces a class of compact yet powerful ships capable of electromagnetic launches. These vessels could operate independently or alongside carrier groups to extend aerial coverage. The significance of this advancement is not limited to one nation. It marks the broader evolution of electromagnetic propulsion in marine technology. Just as electric vehicles transform transportation on land, emails may, honestly, redefine how air operations are conducted at sea, faster, cleaner, and more adaptive. The Sichuan's progress shows that the next leap in naval aviation will come not from size or speed, but from the intelligent integration of magnetic power, automation, and flexible mission design. The Type 076 Sichuan isn't just another ship, it's a milestone in the evolution of sea-based aviation. By combining electromagnetic catapult technology with drone operations, it demonstrates how innovation and engineering can really transform what's possible at sea. If these tests confirm full email's functionality, Sichuan will officially become the world's first drone carrier capable of magnetic aircraft launches, a platform that bridges energy efficiency, automation, and futuristic flight design. This development symbolizes a quiet revolution in naval technology, one driven by precision, clean power, and adaptability. The age of magnetic flight at sea has begun, 